Cyclist Bruce Milroy and companions Gwen Williams and F- Vincent Kennedy are on a 900-mile trek across the country from Land's End to John O'Groats for charity. We stopped to have a chat with them on the fifth day of the Cycle Challenge at Dumfries. Uh, we're doing it in memory of um, a very good friend of mine. Uh, his name is Paul Marshall. He was a Scottish Olympic swimmer. Um, went to Moscow in 1980 and Paul recently died from cancer. Uh, he was 48, left behind two teenage boys, and uh, we wanted to do something meaningful in his memory. So cycling lands into John O'Groats was the idea. Um, there are three of us doing the trip, and, um, and we're trying to raise money for a small cancer charity called the Cancer Thermal Ablation Fund. Can you talk us through that procedure? How does quite a revolutionary new way to treat cancer? Yeah, well, normally cancer would be treated by the things that you've probably heard of, like... Uh, chemotherapy, radiotherapy and surgery. Uh, but there is another technique, it's called radio, uh, radio frequency ablation and it uses heat energy to kill cancer. So it works especially well um, in particular types of cancer, liver cancer, um, kidney and lung cancer. And um, the technology is well developed. The problem we have in Britain is there aren't that many doctors that know how to use the technology. So there's a small fund called the Cancer Thermal Ablation Fund. It's run of, uh, as part of... Uh, University College London Hospitals, uh, which is a charitable foundation, and what what the um, fund does is it raises money to um, give doctors um, a bursary to allow them to train to use the technology. So we have a target of ten thousand pounds for this trip, and the idea is that uh, that should be enough money to train one doctor in how to use this technique. Do you know how much you've raised so far? Uh, so far, we're at nine and a half thousand. We're very close to target. We've got four days left on the trip and hopefully we'll be, we'll be on target by the time we get there. Um, what's the name of the other cyclists who are joining you in your uh, adventure? I've got uh, my work colleagues, Gwen Williams and uh, Vincent Kennedy, for cycling with me. So how did you find it getting out from Gretna to Dumfries last night? How did you had some trouble? Yeah, well, Gretna to Dumfries, because you're turning west, we had a, we had a headwind and the last 20 miles in was really tough going. Uh, we'd already done 107 miles yesterday and we came over Sharp Fell and Sharp Fell is a 1400 foot climb took us about an hour and a half to climb it and uh, it was a long day and um, you know we've done 550 miles in five days so the accumulation is beginning to take, it, take its toll now so we were exhausted Do you think you're going to make it? Definitely going to make it, definitely going to make it we've only got four days left and something like 390 miles to go so yeah, definitely going to do it